Hi there, my name is Dave Taylor from Dave Taylor Miniatures. Uh, I've recently been toying with the idea of uh, starting to put together some uh, videos, some tutorials, um, and start to use a different way to, to talk to people uh, about uh, modeling and painting toy soldiers, really. So uh, this is my first video, and um, I wanted to kick off uh, by starting a, a nice big, um, big project. Um, so showing you some videos, putting together the uh, the Mars Pattern Warlord Titan from uh, Forge World. Uh, this should be a pretty huge uh, sort of build. The um, the Titan itself comes in two enormous boxes like this, um, and uh, should be should be a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of things to learn and um, a lot of work to do. Uh, over the course of the project, I hope to be working with uh, a few other cool uh, businesses out there. Uh, folks like uh, Ron at Fallout Hobbies, uh, hopefully uh, Justin at Secret Weapon Miniatures. So, um, yeah, I think the first video that we do will be to pull out everything from the boxes. Let's get to it. Well, the uh, first thing I took out of the box when I opened it up was this lovely brown envelope. Put that out. I guess I knew that inside I'd find not only the construction guide, but uh, also one of my favorite things for the Titans, my Fabricator General Decree. And my army may deploy the might of a Warlord Titan. Uh, number here is 53. The uh, Mars Pattern Warlord Titan Construction Guide is probably one of the best uh, construction guides that Forge World have put together. Actually, not probably, it's definitely one of the best. Um, you get to see all the pieces nice and clearly uh, as you go through. Um, this looks like it should be fairly simple. And in this first booklet, uh, you will be able to get in just 35 steps all the way to this. And then we'll move on to the head, the carapace lasers, and the volcano cannons. Now, uh, for those of us who enjoy a lot of Forge World, uh, we'll know that usually we get things packaged like this in their big Forge World Ziploc bags. Here's an example of the, uh, the typical instructions we can expect. Photographs of assembly all popped onto photocopied sheets. So I think you'll agree that the construction guide for the Warlord Titan is miles ahead. As well as the construction guide being a lot better, the packaging for the Titan itself is just amazing. The design work on here is spectacular, and I think for a kit of this incredible value, um, putting it in uh, in these boxes is a really good move. Uh, definitely makes me feel like I've got something special. Pull that open. Let's see what we have in this first box. Okay, we have some of the large shoulder supports. I expect these are some of the shoulder joints. This is probably the hip. Large plates for the legs. Maybe right on the front there. Another 
part of a shoulder joint. Some of these shoulder plates. Some more of the shoulder plates with that lovely uh, detailed eagle in there. Two sets of vents and uh, actually these are probably the void shield generators. Just looking at the uh, connectors along the top. We've got spots here for eight void shields. Which I think is what the uh, Warlord has. A piece of external detail. Still going. Some more of the shoulder, pla shoulder pad plating or the upper plating. Sure on this piece. Engine venting. More detail on the uh, solid parts construction. More exterior detail. I think we'll speed up our trip through this box. The other side. One of the gates is already broken free, which is nice. Ah, this would be where the head goes, I expect. Another grate for the engine. The femur, I guess. And to the other side. Um, one thing we might try and do during this build is uh, use some LEDs. I uh, saw a spectacular piece on um, online the other day uh, from Smells Like Wargaming uh, where he lit up the uh, engines and so he had a flickering orange coming through these grates which looked excellent. Oh, I think mean, this is the uh, lower portion of our torso. If I can dig back through all the resin here. So this would sit on top here. And this is the rear gantry. Nice big hefty piece for the uh, top part of the superstructure. Okay, so I've packed everything back away in the uh, from the first box. Now we'll uh, dive into the second box. Um, having just mentioned the uh, the Forge World Ziploc bags, uh, there are quite a few in this pack. Um, so obviously, a lot of the uh, smaller parts, uh, the hip joints, um, we have pistons. We have uh, molar pattern bulk uh, cannons. We have las cannons for point defense. We have the railings for the uh, gantry at the rear. Um, no doubt I'll be mentioning that gantry a few times uh, during the project. That's a great huge pile of stuff there. We have a bag full of toes. Loads and loads and loads of toes for the Titan, which is very cool. Oh. All sorts of crazy bits in here. Um, more armor plates, uh, connectors, um, joints, all sorts of things. And 
another bag full of plates and looks like the lower lower parts of the legs. So we're in here. Looking great. Okay, so now we've seen the uh, the contents of the first two uh, big red boxes. Um, in there we didn't have the uh, head or any weapons. Uh, that's because Forge World plans to sell uh, all of those things separately. So they provide those in separate boxes. These nice, neat, clean looking uh, boxes. So this one is the um, the head. And when they first uh, showed the Mars Pattern Warlord Titan, they showed uh, two heads. Um, there's this one, which has very uh, sort of jousting knight kind of feel to it. Uh, and there's another one, um, which I have, which I actually prefer. It's uh, the front instead of sloping back comes straight down um, fingers crossed before the end of this project they'll release it uh, so that I can uh, get that one and add it to the Titan um, just recently they uh, Forge World announced they're releasing the Apocalypse missile launchers uh, for the the top of the Titan um, so we know that they're coming Fingers crossed, in the next uh, month or so, there'll be the uh, the head. This next one here is one of the volcano cannons. Pull this out. A plastic bag with small bits. And then wrapped up in the bubble wrap here. Larger armor plates. And the elements that go together to make the enormous volcano cannon. And something's very nice there. The uh, You'll notice that the ends here, the vents and the gates come in. Um, so when you chop these off, they may end up being a little bit rough, but they go up against this side, where you're also cutting the, the vents and the gates off. So any of that roughness will be hidden behind those pieces, which is pretty cool. And here, and a piece that will fit on the, the back end of the Volcano Cannon. Lots of uh, sort of heat venting back here. And that looks quite interesting too. Okay, so there's a second box just like this with the other Volcano Cannon. Uh, just here to show you that. And when I was looking through the boxes, I thought, okay, I've got two volcano cannons, I've got the head, I have one box that says Mars Patton Warlord Titan Laser Blaster. And I thought, oh no, they haven't sent me the, the second laser blaster. But these are carapace mounted weapons, because they are um, done in pairs, they're both provided in the same box. So. I was quite happy to find that out. I didn't have to make a call to Forge World to, uh, to get that problem fixed. So it wasn't actually a problem. So there we go. Lots of great uh, laser blaster pieces. And the elements there for those. Two armor plates. Two of everything. So, and as you might have seen, uh, each of these has an instruction booklet uh, to carry you through 
putting those together. Most of them seem pretty straightforward, but uh, it's always nice to have that to refer to if there's a, an odd piece sticking out. So there we go. Uh, you've seen a, a bunch of the components for the uh, the massive Mars Pattern Warlord Titan from Forge World. Uh, I hope to put together a, a great series of uh, videos for these. Next one will probably be uh, on uh, cleaning and preparing all the resin. Uh, then we'll probably move on to working from the ground up. We'll start with the base, uh, assemble the feet and the legs and build those up. Uh, and then over the next few months, get to the, uh, the torso and the weapons and then get on to the crazy painting of it all. Uh, so it should be huge, uh, very excited about it all. Uh, I'm also putting together a Patreon page. Uh, some of you will already know what Patreon is. Uh, I'll put a link to it uh, below this video. So uh, if you feel like supporting me as I go through this journey, uh, that would be fantastic. Uh, I'd love to build a nice little community so we can spend a lot of time talking about uh, massive, massive toy soldiers. Uh, should be great. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.